Welcome back to our next podcast on cue card making. Turn on auto caption for better experience. In the heart of rural India, nestled amidst rolling green hills and a gentle breeze, lay a hidden paradise called Shanti Kunj. This idyllic place, far away from the bustling cities and their chaotic streets, held a serene beauty that had been preserved for centuries. Legend had it that Shanti Kunj was blessed by the gods themselves. Its name, which translated to abode of peace, was a testament to the tranquility and harmony that permeated the air. The locals believed that it was a place where one could find solace and connect with their inner self. News of Shanti Kunj had reached my ears through whispered tales, shared by fellow travelers and wanderers seeking respite from the noise of everyday life. The stories spoke of lush green meadows stretching as far as the eye could see, dotted with vibrant wildflowers swaying gently in the wind. It was said that the air in Shanti Kunj carried the fragrance of jasmine and sandalwood, rejuvenating the soul with every breath. Curiosity gnawed at my heart, and my longing to experience this enchanting place grew stronger with each passing day. The desire to embark on a journey to Shanti Kunj became an unwavering dream, an oasis of serenity that I yearned to discover. The journey to Shanti Kunj was an arduous one, but the rewards were said to be immeasurable. I set off on a train, winding through the scenic countryside of India, passing by quaint villages and ancient temples. As the train chugged along, I could feel the weight of the world gradually melting away, replaced by a sense of anticipation and wonder. Finally, the moment arrived when I stepped off the train onto the platform of a small village that served as the gateway to Shanti Kunj. The air was crisp and carried a hint of anticipation. The locals, with warm smiles on their faces, welcomed me with open arms, as if they had been expecting my arrival. Following their lead, I embarked on a path that led me through verdant forests and babbling brooks. The trees whispered ancient melodies, and the sunlight filtered through their leaves, casting dancing shadows on the ground. The serenade of birdsong accompanied me, guiding my steps toward the heart of Shanti Kunj. As I emerged from the forest, a sight beyond imagination unfolded before my eyes. Shanti Kunj revealed itself in all its resplendent glory. A grand temple stood majestically in the center, its intricate architecture a testament to the rich cultural heritage of India. Surrounding it were peaceful gardens, adorned with fragrant flowers and shaded by ancient banyan trees. The air in Shanti Kunj was ethereal carrying with it a sense of divinity. The sound of distant chants and the fragrance of incense wafting through the air evoked a deep sense of spirituality. People from all walks of life have come together in search of inner peace, practicing yoga and meditation in unison. Overwhelmed by the tranquility that enveloped me, I closed my eyes and allowed the serenity to seep into every fiber of my being. In that moment, I felt a profound connection with the rich tapestry of Indian culture and a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to witness such beauty. As I reluctantly bid farewell to Shanti Kunj, I carried with me the memories of this magical place, etched into my soul. The journey home was filled with a newfound sense of tranquility, and I knew that whenever life became chaotic and overwhelming, I could close my eyes and return to the abode of peace, a place that had become my sanctuary. Thank you for listening to our education podcast. As we wrap up this episode, we want to take a moment to express our gratitude for all of our listeners. We hope that our podcast has been a valuable resource for you in your educational journey and that it has provided you with insights, inspiration, and knowledge that you can apply in your life and we look forward to sharing more insights with you in our next episode.